Sometimes in life, and I think especially in our singleness, things don't always go as planned. Would you agree? That person you thought you were gonna marry didn't happen. That person you thought was all that wasn't all that. None of us are, right? That person that, see, see sometimes ladies, you're not gonna be on the beach and it's not gonna be a perfect day when some guy with a six pack abs and a jet ski rolls up and a yacht, I don't know how you'd have both, gets off his yacht into a jet ski, I don't know, and says, you're the one. That's not always gonna happen, right? Sometimes, guys, the girl is not gonna be like, you know what, today I just feel like chilling and watching a football game. I just, it just, it's hit me today. We can even order some nachos. It's gonna be great. No, sometimes during a football game, you're gonna be checking your phone because you're on a hike or you're getting coffee or you're doing something like that. But, but the reality is, is nothing, we have unrealistic expectations, I think, within our singleness. And I don't even think it's fully our fault. We have movies and in, in, in culture that tells you constantly there's gonna be a storybook ending. You ever seen Hallmark? Any Hallmark Christmas movie, right? It's gonna end on a bridge and you're gonna kiss that person and then you're gonna get married and be happy for the rest of your life. See, it's not always like that. And it's so cool because I think the Bible really, it, it doesn't put the pressure on you to have some storybook ending because it focuses a lot more about being the person than finding the person. It focuses a lot on, hey, what's more important and I think that's what the Apostle Paul's getting at with this verse. What's more important than anything is to have undivided attention on Jesus Christ. And that, I fully believe that.